coronavirus, what is social distancing and self-isolation. No one, even the science community, could not imagine 2020 gonna start the way that it started. There are so much information being circulated on WhatsApp, Facebook, and all the social media, but most of them not accurate at all. So I went to the UK government website and the NHS and I summarized few information about, about the new measure that the government put in place. We are social beings, but this disease risk turning our natural instinct into fatal weakness. Our old routines and habits must be replaced with a new customs and practices. We need to adjust to the etiquette of epidemic and we don't know how long that's gonna last. So how should we behave? How can we be pro-social in a world where a comforting hand or a hug is considered antisocial or even reckless. And none of the measures that the government is putting in place comes naturally to us, and it is not easy. But we can only do what is possible, and we will never know. But the simple act of washing your hand properly may actually save one, two, 50 or even 10,000 lives. So when you wash your hand, think about that. So far, there's no vaccine, which we don't know how to beat that coronavirus. So the best way that the government thought about for now is to ask people to keep a distance. That is the best way that we can beat or we can limit the spread of the coronavirus. Shops selling no essential items, libraries, playgrounds, outdoor gyms, and places of worship are to close. And also weddings and baptism will be banned. You know, gathering of more than two people not from the same household will be banned as well. People are only to do one form of exercise a day on their own or with a member of their household. The only other acceptable main reason to leave the house are shopping for basic necessity, although this should be done as little as possible as well. Medical need or to provide care for someone vulnerable. Travel to work or from work, but only where this is absolutely necessary. So what should you be doing then? If you have to go outside to buy food, for example, you must stay more than two meters apart from other people. Cafes, you know, pub, restaurant, nightclub, theater, cinemas and gyms, and also leisure center have already been told to close. If they are not, they should be closed by now. The move from the government is part of a social distancing measure to minimize no essential contact between people. And if you have flu-like symptoms, you know, such as dry cough and high temperature, you should be self-isolating at home to avoid infecting other people. So why is social distancing necessary? Social distancing is important because coronavirus spread when an infected pe person cough and spread that virus into the air. And anybody that around and then breathe in can be infected. Or if the virus fall on the surface and somebody come and then touch it with a hand, no washing the hand and touch the face, then they will be infected too. So the less people get together, the less chance for the coronavirus to spread. So now, what is self-isolation? In a simple term, self-isolation means stay at home and not leave home, other than for exercise. Don't go to work, school, 
or public area during your time of self-isolation. If possible, you should not go out even to buy food or other essentials. So there's a group of people in the neighborhood, friendly neighborhood, who are happy to help people find out in your neighborhood whose group is that, so that you know they can bring you necessity and leave it that to you. If you're inept to get supply delivered to you, you should do what you can do to limit social contact when you do leave the house. Remember, two meter distances. Who should self-isolate them? You know, basically everyone who shows signs of corona symptoms. A fever of above 37.8 degrees Celsius, a persistent cough, or a problem to breathe. And everyone who lives in the same household or flat as someone with a sign of coronavirus or symptom of coronavirus. If you live alone, you must stay at home for seven days from the days where the symptoms started, the day when the symptoms started. If you or someone you live with develop the symptoms, the entire household need to isolate for 14 days to monitor for signs of coronavirus. And if someone else does become ill during that period of the 14th day, the seven day isolation start the day where the symptoms started. Then for example, yeah, if the second person that fell ill, the symptoms started from the day three, so then day, day seven, started from the day three to day 10. Then if another member of the household felt ill, then let's say for example, they fell ill on the day 13, then day seven days start from the day 13 isolation. So it is important to understand that, you know, the seven days isolation is not the day where you're monitoring the, the symptom, but the day when the symptoms start. If the day where you feel that you have the symptom, the symptom, that's the day where your seven days start. So meaning that in household, the isolation can last 20 days, even more, independent on how many people and then how, when those people are feeling ill. And the person with the symptom should stay in a well-ventilated room with a window that can be open and keep away from other people in the home, in the household. So that's what it is. So I managed kind of to collect those information from the government website and the NHS website so that I can provide it to you to stop people using fake information from the internet or those information that you know people sharing on the WhatsApp, on the Facebook, because it's important that you know we fight this coronavirus properly. So far, science communities and the health community did not manage to exactly understand how we're gonna beat it. But those measures will help us stop the spread. As long as we stop the spread, there's a better chance that, you know, we can fight it, you know, as such. But it's the most important thing to understand that the coronavirus is real. The entire planet is impacted, is affected, and a lot of people dying. The survival of our species depending on us following the procedure that is being put in place you know, for us. Because you may not think that you don't have it, but you don't know you have it or not. Because when you get the virus, it doesn't start automatically. It's after a few days that all the symptoms start for some time, even after five days, sometime after seven days, 14 days. That's why the self-isolation, that's why the social distance is, is here for. So it is important that we follow it. So thank you very much. And if you like this video, press like button. And if you have any information you want to share, please use the comment box below. And 
just tell us how do you how are you coping with this with the isolation with the staying home now we like to hear that and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do hit the subscribe button right now thank you very much and stay safe and god bless you